Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we'll discuss about uh, the bytecode, that is Java bytecode. Uh, here are some important video questions. Uh, uh, first one, discuss briefly the concept of bytecode in Java and elucidate or explain how Java is a platform independent language uh, with neat sketches, that is for six marks. And define bytecode, how does it help Java program uh, to achieve uh, portability? Uh, 5 marks and describe the concept of bytecode which is for 4 marks. Uh, so Java bytecode, bytecode is an intermediate uh, form of Java programs okay and uh, so if you want to convert for example for step by step execution if you have any uh, errors in each and every line of the program syntax error okay it will uh, find out bytecode will make sure that it will find the errors and uh, so it will be uh, uh, notified okay to the uh, programmer so that he can make corrections in syntax so bytecode consists of optimized set of instructions that are not specific to processor we get byte uh, we get bytecode uh, after compiling the Java program using a compiler called Java C. So while executing the program, if you want to compile that, if you want to check syntax error, so we'll be using Java C. C stands for compile. Uh, okay, say compile. So it will compile Java compiler. Okay, it will compile uh, each and every line of the program. So if you have uh, made any syntax error, then it will be uh, intimated to the programmer so that he can make corrections. Okay, so we use Java C command. Uh, uh, so and the bytecode is to be executed by Java runtime environment which is called as Java virtual machine see uh, if you want to execute uh, Java program you require uh, JDK and JRE that is Java development kit and Java runtime environment so if you when you install uh, JRE okay JVM will automatically get installed you don't have to uh, install JVM separately so that is why the bytecode is to be executed by Java runtime environment which is called Java virtual machine I'll repeat it so J in order to compile Java program you require JDK that is Java development kit which you, which you can download it from Oracle website okay you need to log in and then download the uh, software so JDK is required in order to compile the program if you want to run the program if you want to see the output on console window you have to install JRE and also you require JVM so when you install JRE JVM will automatically get installed so in uh, when in C drive you will have uh, uh, Java folder in inside program files folder first program files folder inside program files folder you will see Java folder in that Java folder you should have two folders uh, the subfolders that is JDK and JRE JDK is for compilation and JRE is for is to run the program Java program sometimes JVM is also called as interpreter for bytecode so sometimes it is called as interpreter because the step by step execution as I said uh, each and every line while executing as soon as you type the program when you make syntax error uh, JVM will automatically show the uh, mistake that you have done so that is what uh, JVM is all about and then um, uh, here it's uh, so you need to draw this diagram uh, very important so even uh, before you start uh, explaining any uh, anything uh, you just please uh, i recommend you to write this diagram draw this diagram neatly uh, so which carries more marks and uh, so here we have first java source program it's uh, so we first you program a types java source java program and the compiler checks the error okay that is syntax error and java compiler converts this java source code that is java source code is what it is a high level language and uh, java compiler the, so we use java c command okay uh, that is, uh, so java c command command it it uh, talks to the Java compiler and it converts the high level language that is uh, Java program which is high level language to byte code that is machine level language so machine which machine can understand so then it will be uh, uh, Java byte codes will be given as input to network or file system so here Java byte code again we have byte code verifier so Java byte code verify it verifies Java virtual machine checks each and every uh, line of the code and then if you if there is any error then it will be uh, notified okay so here we have java just in time uh, compiler which we'll discuss it later yeah uh, so, uh, so so that will be uh, sent to operating system so in order to process the program if the uh, syntax is correct 
Java byte and the programs that are running on JVM must be compiled into a binary format which is denoted by dot class files. That means when you write a Java program that is uh, that will be stress safe you have to save your Java file as dot Java file name dot Java. When a uh, compiler converts uh, dot Java to dot class dot class contains byte codes okay that is ones and zeros that machine can understand sometimes for uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, for uh, ease of distribution okay if you want to uh, for just for ease of distribution multiple class files are packaged into one dot jar file so uh, we we take uh, multiple class file dot class files there will be a lot of dot 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 class files so that those dot class files will be uh, packaged will be a package of one file that is dot jar file the jvm execute dot class or dot jar files by either interpreting it or using a just in time compiler the just in time compiler is used for compiling and not for interpreting the file so jit is just just in time means what it will not check the syntax line by line it will check the entire class files if we have done any syntax uh, errors okay so then it will be uh what is it uh, um, just in time compiler will take care of uh, intimating or informing the programmer so that he can make the corrections so the byte code is used in most jvm today to achieve greater speed so which is this is very very important the byte code is used in most jvm today to achieve greater speed the byte code verifier verifies all the byte code before it is executed this verification helps to prevent the crashing of host machine so this is all about uh, java bytecodes uh, so if you have any doubt please uh, comment below thanks a lot uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel uh, music plus education and uh, please like share and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much